gonna stab me in the gut. Guys, I got booba. A traumatic experience to say the least. Oh, I like to flip my knife, flip it in the air. Where this is a bit of a turn. Well, I really I don't care. She even wrote a song. Oh god. No! <laughs> no, dude, no, no! 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 Stop! Oh, I don't need to see my hand. That's because I understand <laughs> where I'm gonna stab my knife. What am I doing with my life? I play five finger fillet, blinded from the light of day. Every hit is just a guess. This could be a bloody mess. Faster, faster, here we go. What am I doing? Oh, well? don't take your eyes off God, me. don't want to see him stab himself. Hurt like shit. Oh! <laughs> so he flipped it four times. And then he did five finger fillet. How how many times do you think you can accurately flip a knife and consistently catch it? Probably do four. We are here at Alex Barbatis's car. I'm the beard judge. And we're gonna see how many times we can flip a knife. I think if we didn't use real knives, we could probably do way more than that. I mean, you catch it like this, that's totally okay. If you catch it like this, that's totally okay. If you catch it like this, it's a cut. A real knife, you'll cut yourself. Okay. We don't want to cut ourselves because we have work to do that involves our soft little our, flesh. Our My cheese. What happens if you catch it by the blade? Come get your blood. All right, let's see that really clearly. All right, I'm going first. So every time you touch the blade, you lose a finger for the rest of the day. Okay. Okay, okay let's all agree to this. Okay. All right, <laughs> it's agreed. Come on, Ren. Yeah, we gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I flip my knife once, and I flip my knife twice. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, no! Already! I, I was started. I forgot about knife the, finger Jake. I forgot about the <laughs> fact that if it hits my hand, I lose a finger. I wasn't thinking. Gosh dang it! Okay. Okay. Alright, All right, first go try. Alright, Alright, one flip. I'm not singing. Uh, one. one. Again, one. Two flips. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Butterfingers. <laughs> Alright, three flips. Oh! They that is oh. definitely on you. Oh! oh that would have hurt. Cut myself. You guys have got booba. If you aren't confident you're gonna catch it, don't try to. I'm gonna look at the blade on this one. Oh, that was, that was so cut. you almost cut yours two times. Oh! 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 Oh, no! Dad, why is this happening so soon? <sighs> Hello. Hey, everybody. It's been a while. It's been a month. Has it? It's been around a month. If you'll remember, I had to have this Spider-Man short that I'm working on done by the end of June, and it is currently July 13th. It's gonna be a 10 minute short film, and I am nowhere near completion. We're, we're working at it every day, working hard, coming in late, leaving early. Hmm? Who's we? Oh, my multiple personalities. I'm working on my very own Spider-Man short film. You may be asking, why Spider-Man? I could even make my own superhero and I wouldn't have to worry about copyright BS or anything like that. But Spider-Man holds a special dear place in my heart. I've been a big fan of Spider-Man my whole life. Grew up watching the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies as I talked about before. I, I thought, gosh darn it, I'm gonna do it. And so I, I made a little teaser video. I was planning on doing a Kickstarter, then I got a lot of warnings about cease and desists. Called Jacob, talked about it. He was like, <clears throat> might not wanna do that. Also, send us over what you have and we'll take a look at it. So I sent them the preview. They dug it, they saw the visual effects I was doing and so they believed that I could make a whole short film out of it. And so they were like, here's a budget. A go make your own Spider-Man short film. We're not gonna help you out. They lent me gear, of course. I thought they might have notes on the script, but no, they were just like, shoot it, do whatever you want. It was really great. They gave me a lot of creative control, which is a good thing and a bad thing, because if I screw this all up, it's all on me. That's a little scary, to be honest. This is the first really big project that is all under my control. The impulse is to do absolutely everything. To write it, which I did, to direct it, which I did, to shoot it, which I did, but one of the things I learned while making this film is really the importance of delegating and trusting people to do their job well and step back and focus on your own job. Yeah, it was really difficult shooting it myself, which was a big mistake. I, I should have, you know, I have many friends who are very talented with uh, shooting and it would have been a much better idea to bring one of them on. Being behind the camera, worrying about the framing and following the actors and focus pulling and all that really just takes away from 
my job as a director. This is my own custom-made Spider-Man suit. I didn't sew it. I made the design in Photoshop. I sent that to this company, Zentai Zone. It's a website where you send them your patterns and they'll print it onto spandex, sew it together, and send it back to you. And they also do some really cool things, like <clears throat> adding rubber soles. They add U-zippers in the back and no line down the back of the suit, which is great. Eye holes, which is really nice. Uh, Man, the next part pains me to even talk about. A traumatic experience to say the least. I... Is we're thinking nope. too hard about how many times we're flipping it. I think we should let the camera determine that and we should just flip and do it natty. Yeah. Alright, ready? Yep. No! <laughs> ah! oh, you lost your thumb! Oh, gosh! I'm gonna have to switch to my left soon. <laughs> <laughs> My thumb is just now attached. I have no opposable thumb. Uh, whoa! Oh, I actually didn't get any blood on me. Okay. You didn't get blood on you. I didn't if get you blood were on me. This it stabbed you it's right. Dry. It stabbed you right. It's dry. Right. It went dude. straight through your whole hand. You it was just like, <laughs> <laughs> man, this is gonna hurt to take off. <laughs> we thought we were gonna be so good. No. I'm gonna attempt. Don't don't worry about seven. That. Oh! That was just pure luck. That was pure skin. Yeah. No, I did get seven! seven. <laughs> <laughs> ten. I want to do ten. I want to do ten right now. Oh god. No! Oh, god! Get that! The... And you're dead. That god! Was so I lost your pinky! Oh. I'm gonna go switch to my left, dude. Lucky guy still got a thumb. Mr. Lucky guy over here. What a ridiculous thing to put on my... Hand. I'm switching to left because I have no opposable thumb on my right. I'm gonna try to beat Ren's seven. Dead, Jake. You're dead. You're already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you actually died. <laughs> you actually died. It just kind of stabbed me in the gut earlier. Oh. That's from just now. What happened to your lab coat? <laughs> yeah, what wasn't this the of having it's, our lab coat so we don't too bleed too on small our on me, dude. You didn't, didn't cut his hand. Just like he kind of gashed belly. my belly. All right, put a gash on his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> How many was that? A lot. This could go anywhere. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Nope. I didn't cut myself. I'm okay. Oh. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? I lost. <laughs> no, is it dry? You gotta do that again. Yeah, do that again. No one would ever do that with a real knife. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. All right. Get it. Two, one. Good pass. Oh, oh I didn't catch oh. it. Did I, you? I hit the handle. You have done four Two, times, one. Nico. You have done four times. You would never catch that. Throwing knives at yeah. cars. Go, Red. Go. Okay, I'm gonna go for ten. Ooh. Oh. That was really good, Ren. My, my Give an impressive rotation speed. <laughs> I'm one of the knife guys. Dude, see Mike is such a knife guy. <laughs> the knifest guy. The knifest, the knifest dude. dude. Who is the knifest dude? Three, Three four, five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine ten. Ten? Almost ten. Ten and a half? half? Ten and three quarters. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's totally skill. The next part pains me to even talk about. It was a traumatic experience to say the least. I puffy painted this entire suit. Actually, not the entire suit. I couldn't even finish it. And it took probably like 40 to 50 hours. And I didn't even do it as well as some people do it online. There are cosplayers. Puffy paint? Puffy paint. I had to figure out a face shell because if you'll notice in the Spider-Man movies, you never really see the outline of his nose or his jaw when he's speaking, except for in Spider-Man Homecoming because it's CGI. 
So the next part is very important for the look of Spider-Man, face shell. The face shell, basically, you put it on the actor, and then the actor puts the suit over the shell so that there aren't any distortions, the nose isn't poking through, making it look awkward or anything like that. I ordered this online from a guy named Derek Hackle, very talented man. His Instagram is Heroes Anthem. Definitely, if you're looking to buy a Spider-Man face shell, check it out. I picked this one because it had a very similar feel to the classic Spider-Man look in the comics. It has magnetic eyes that fit in. Did he make those too? He made all this, man. He 3D printed, he vacuum sealed. Vacuum formed. Vacuum formed. Man, that's super sweet. The reason for the magnetic eyes is so you can put the face shell under the suit, like so. You just plop these babies in there, and they stay on. There's no actor in here right now, so it's real wrinkly, but you get the idea. Pretty cool, right? So the next step in creating the suit was to make a chest emblem and a back emblem. So the original plan was to 3D print molds for each piece, and then fill those molds with silicone, paint the silicone, glue it on. Unfortunately, I am not experienced enough with silicones to figure this shit out. What happened with the chest spider, 3D print wasn't high resolution enough, it looked blocky and bad. With the back spider, I actually got a pretty good looking back spider, but unfortunately, I couldn't get the silicone to stick onto the suit. Hot glue didn't work, it, it just wouldn't stick. It was too slick, I even tried to sand it, didn't work very well. Couldn't get it to work. We tried to fix this by spray gluing it on, on set, every five minutes, which worked for a little bit. You can see it in a few scenes but it left an awful residue that now I'm going to have to paint out in every single shot of Spider-Man's back. This leads us to the other insane amount of work, which is all the CGI I'll be doing. Have you ever heard the phrase, we'll fix it in post? <sighs> Damn it, I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna do so much CGI, my ass is gonna burn off from sitting in this seat. I'm gonna get hemorrhoids from so much sitting. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I can get a standing desk, which, do we have one more? Do you not have a spreadsheet? Uh, Are you not cataloging your shots? I was making a spreadsheet, but then the spreadsheet was taking more work than the VFX, so I stopped, dude. Mom, I'll make my bed later! <laughs> but look at this organized spreadsheet for shooting. Mmm, yeah, that's one. Yeah, how's that gonna one... help you in post? I mean, I, it, but, you, you see the, the thing, because it's used dirt on, it's like an onset type shot list, so it doesn't, directly help in post. So but, how many you know, VFX shots do you have? So, so there's, um... Is it more than 50? Yeah. Is it less than 100? I don't know. It's gonna be wow. a 10 minute video? Yeah. You wanna get this done by the end of this month? Yeah. You have two weeks. A big challenge when making any movie where a character is wearing a mask is gonna be the sound, because that sound coming out of their mask, getting picked up the yeah, from that. Bless you. Any dialogue coming out of that mask is gonna be garbage. And so what we've had to do for this short film, and what most filmmakers do for characters that wear masks, is we basically just re-recorded the entire film in ADR. Things, one of the parts of this project that I'm most excited about is the score. Not the soundtrack, not the list of songs that we picked out to fit the movie, the score, the orchestral score that is being done by the insanely talented Casey Edwards, who has worked on a bunch of projects with Corridor, Rocket Jump, a bunch of video games, super talented guy. Sound design is gonna be a big part of this project. So worst case scenario, I'll do it myself. I can manage making sound, but what would really push it over the top is getting someone very talented to do it. There's someone I have in mind, maybe, Another person maybe would be C-Mike if he's down. I, I hope it's not me, because anyone else would do a much better job, and it's a very important part of the film that I hope is done well. Whether I can finish it by the end of July, I guess we'll find out. This is my final attempt. I'm going for 11. Oh. Ah, no! Tip! I've been a doctor for 30 years. <laughs> Where? Dude, right here, yeah. dude. I lost yeah, yeah, lose thumb, that thumb, dude. The last clap. Someone's <laughs> I'm all chopped up. <laughs> I promised you 11. I'm gonna exceed my promises. You guys gotta get good at throwing it above yourself and not like... Yeah, you guys... Gotta... My thumb is cut off, so... <laughs> I mean, I see you using your thumb right now. Right, just a little nugget. Oh, oh, that's that's so not thin. even close to 10. Give it up! <laughs> Don't do it, dude! In restless dreams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone. 
That's hold, hold still. <laughs> oh! That went all oh. down your arm. I saw Dude, it. Where is that arm? I'm amputating. <laughs> amputating. <laughs> you got three rolls. Okay. Man, don't waste gas. Yeah, look at that. Twenty bucks a roll. <laughs> What, how are you gonna? How are you gonna? How are you gonna work part. later? Ah, my arm hairs! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Okay, <laughs> what? Do, what do I have to do now? Eleven. You gotta do eleven. I gotta do eleven. Clean eleven. Jake, we're gonna be it's all hard. out of tape. Dude. Keep your ad blocker off so we can afford more tape for rent. And the people bow and pray to the neon god they made. No! 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 That was that was a piercing blow. <laughs> nope, no heart here. Put a little X's <laughs> over his eyes. Sorry, Don. No. Oh man. Everyone right. is going for eleven. Speeding. Ready, boys? Yep. Three, two, one. I got it. How many did you get? You know? 11. 11? <laughs> 11? Just 11. <laughs> what yeah. did we learn? What did I learned ah! that you should never do this with a real knife. Hey, don't do this at all. Looking forward to the <laughs> montage of us working for the rest of the day with all of our limbs missing. <laughs> Wait, we should probably go hey, back. We're actually the doing that? Now. Time for me to go do actual work now. I'll <laughs> see you guys later. <laughs> his, uh, the dog you're thinking of was his girlfriend's dog. <laughs> hey, I can actually uh, do work. It's really warm in this jacket, but it's taped to me, so I can't take it off. At the end of July, I will be leaving LA to go back to San Francisco to go to school. If that happens, I will no longer be able to use these fancy computers. I will be using this thing. Doing all the visual effects on this thing will be nearly impossible. That gives me two weeks to do all these visual effects, to get all of the pieces together into a cohesive movie.